Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And if you don't know who I am, hello, my name is Dramatic Parrot. I post videos every Thursday and Saturday, so if you haven't yet, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you haven't, make sure you also follow my Instagram where I post tons and tons of doodles for you guys to go and look. And plus, it's a way to reach out to me and tag me in some of your art. So for today, I thought I would go ahead and give a little review video. A lot of people ask me what's some good alcohol-based markers. Now, if you don't know what alcohol-based markers are, they're just really nice, fancy markers that are easy to blend with each other. Um, they're a lot better than working with Crayola or Rose Art uh, colored markers. Um, but they're just a little bit more expensive, so people always ask me what's the best type of markers, and you'll usually get the answer, Copic markers. So I'm actually coloring Lilo with some Copic markers now. I have more Copic markers than I do Winsor & Newton Pro markers, which is what's going up against Copic markers today in this video. A little while ago, I don't know, for some reason, uh, I went to Michael's and I was looking at the just regular markers, not Winter and Newton particularly, but I was looking at the markers that they had on display in the back and I looked over and I saw that the, their Winter and Newton Pro markers were all $1.99. So, like, usually they're $5 a piece. So they're a cheaper alternative to Copic markers. So at that time, I saw the opportune moment and I went ahead and I bought about uh, 30 Win Winsor & Newton markers. Just some some that I really wanted to like, uh, colors I wanted to work with and uh, that I would actually use in the future. So I bought a bunch of warm grays and cool grays. So <laughs> I actually sat on the floor with the Michaels manager and him and I are already on a first name basis just because I go there so much. <laughs> and I just looked at him and I'm just like, so do you think I just should just buy more? And he's like, oh my goodness, I would go for it. Go, 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 grab them all. <laughs> so I went ahead and I grabbed about 30 of these Winsor & Newton markers just to test them out and to put them up against Copic markers because Copic markers where I live, they're all about $7.99 a piece. So that's $8 a marker. And these Winsor & Newton Pro markers, which also come with brush tips, I found out later on. And I think that's why they were so cheap. But these markers that I'm holding in my hand right now that you see them coloring with stitch, they're actually $5 a piece. So these are nice alcohol-based markers and I like working with them. The only thing that I don't like about the Winsor & Newton Pro markers is the small little tip. I, I like it, but it doesn't exactly compare to the brush tip that Copic markers have and it does have a huge wide chisel tip but at the same time I like my brush tips that's why uh, Prismacolor also has these brush tips and now I found out that Winsor Newton offers these markers they're alcohol based markers with brush tips so I really like working with them I like the fact that the more and more I stack up and layer and layer and layer with these blues on stitch I find that I'm actually getting some shading which I really like sometimes that happens with Copic markers sometimes it doesn't there's only so far that you can go with putting layers on top of layers but with this Winsor & Newton it was letting me put layers on top of layers and giving me some good shading scales I really like that about that but I really miss my brush tip and it's just interesting but the colors are super vibrant I mean look at these blues they're gorgeous another weird thing about the Winsor Newton markers is I don't know why you guys if you are Winsor Newton alcohol based markers owners you'll have to let me know why they smell like bubble gum and it's insane I mean it's really weird but it's interesting but I think that I would gladly say gladly and I would go ahead and say that I would switch from Copic markers to these Winsor & Newton markers as long as I bought the brush tip pins that they offer for Winsor & Newton Pro markers. So yeah, that's what I've got to say about Winsor & Newton Pro markers. They're great alcohol-based markers 
Uh, Copic markers are just as wonderful, but if you're looking for an alternative to Copic markers because you're just saying, hey, this is a little a bit expensive, I'd say Prismacolor markers or Winsor & Newton markers. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a lot of fun. I love doing like these fun reviews, especially with alcohol-based markers. I love using alcohol-based markers. They're a fun medium to practice with, but if you haven't practiced with alcohol-based markers yet, maybe go and check out your Winsor & Newton markers or Copic markers or Prismacolor markers. The options are endless. But yes, guys, I hope you have a most wonderful day.